Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to create a CSS only loading indicator. Okay, so just up here we've got the final product. As we can see, um, above this div we've got a loading pill which moves right to left uh, to essentially inform the user that something is happening behind the scenes. So uh, you can use this on essentially um, almost any HTML element including the whole web page itself. So you can even use this to create a single page application that loads all asynchronously. Okay, so let's go inside this tab right here and start from scratch to of course create that loading indicator. So as we can see, I've just got some dummy uh, text appearing on the screen there and inside the text editor it looks something like this, a div with a class of my div and some dummy text inside of there as well as some base styles for that div. So uh, the way the loading indicator is going to work is essentially any element with the loading class. So for example, if I add loading to uh, this uh, right there, um, any element with the loading class is going to have that loading pill that appears on top. Okay, so let's add that loading class just like that and then go inside the CSS and target the loading class and for this we're just going to say position and set this to be relative. So essentially by setting position relative we're able to then position the actual pill or the bar in the top left corner of the parent element. In this case the parent is going to be the my div or the div itself. Okay. Um, and this may cause problems, uh, but we are going to be fixing those problems a bit later on towards the end of the video. But for now, let's set this to be position relative as it's going to work for most people in most situations. Okay? So now uh, we're going to be taking advantage of CSS pseudo elements. Uh, so we're going to be saying here loading and then colon colon after and essentially this right here if you're not too sure what this does it's going to be creating uh, like a virtual element in CSS which is going to be inserted just before the end of the div itself so basically right here okay so now we're going to be able to style this element to make it look like whatever we want and of course this element is going to be the actual pill or the loading bar itself Okay, so let's go inside here now and we're going to be saying content and set this to be an empty string. Okay, we're going to also say here position and set this one to be absolute. This works in conjunction with this one just up here to allow us to say top, set this to be zero and a left of zero. Okay, we may as well also set a width and height. So for example, width, set this to be 50% and a height of something like 4px. We can also set a background and set this to be red just to see what's actually happening on the screen currently. Let's save this and refresh the page and we can see right there we get the loading bar or loading pill indicator whatever you want to call it at the top of the HTML element. Okay, so we can see right here it's in the top left corner and of course it's got that 50% width. Okay, so now let's go back inside here and apply some final styles. I'm going to be essentially just changing the background here to be something like 00, zero and then 9578. That is the decode green color. And I may, uh, sorry, and I may also set a border radius to be something like uh, 10 pixels, for example. Of course, it's uh, purely up to you how you want this bar to look. Let's try this now. Refresh and we get something like this. Okay, so now we're going to be implementing the animation to make it go uh, from right to left. Um, so let's go back inside here and get rid of this width right here uh, first up. Okay, then go down here and define a new uh, set of keyframes. So we're going to say right here keyframes like this. Okay, and now we're going to be giving this a label. We're going to be saying loading. Okay, so now inside here, we're essentially able to define a bunch of uh, points in the animation um, to change some styles. So we're going to say here first up, uh, sorry, uh, first up at 0% of the animation. Uh, so we can say 0% just like this. We're going to be saying left and set this to be 0%. Okay, so essentially 
we are saying at the very start of the animation we want the left property to be 0% which currently it is essentially 0% when you have left 0 just up here. So essentially this won't change anything um, if we were to refresh the page right now. Now I might also go back inside here and set a width and make this something like 20%. Okay, And now we can go inside here and we can say at 50% of the animation, we're going to be setting the left property to be 80%. Okay, so essentially we're saying whatever width we set inside here, we want to subtract essentially this amount from 100%. So of course 100 minus 20 is going to be 80. Okay, and that's going to allow us to uh, move the actual uh, loading indicator uh, left 80% to make it go to the right side. And of course, since these numbers equal 100, it's going to be tight up against uh, the right side. Okay, we're going to go down here now and we're going to say at 100% of the animation, we're going to set everything back to left and then 0%. Okay, so now let's go inside the actual pseudo element and we're going to be saying here animation and set this to be loading. So that's basically, so, sorry, that's basically going to come from our loading keyframes uh, just down here. Um, we're going to also say 1.5 seconds for the animation duration. So let's just save this here and then refresh the page and we can see we get something like this. So we saw right there that was one iteration of the animation. It goes from left 0% to left 80%, just like that. Then it comes back and goes back to 0% left at 100% of the animation. Okay, so now with this in mind, let's set up here uh, a third uh, value here to be infinite. That's basically saying we want that animation to continue going for as long as uh, the actual element here has the loading class. Okay, we're going to also be saying here ease in, ease out, and that's just the animation, uh, the animation timing function, which defines how the animation is going to be timed. Basically, how it's going to move from left to right. Let's save this now and refresh the page, and we get this right here. So essentially, uh, where we're almost done with the effect, of course, it is totally up to you how you want this to look and how you want the animation to move. So I'm going to go back inside here now and uh, essentially just add a few more uh, styles to make the actual bar increase in width towards the center of the actual uh, div here. So if I go back inside my example, we can see this one slightly different. Um, it changes width as it goes on. So let's go back inside here and add a new uh, point for 25%. And for this one, we're going to be setting a width to be 30%. Okay. Then inside here, uh, for the actual 50% uh, uh, mark here, we can just say width and set this back to 20%. So essentially, it's going to go from 30 back to 20. Okay. And then at 100%, Sorry, um, at 75%, our mistake, we can just say also with 30%, okay, uh, just like that, and that's basically it. So you might want to just expand this one here to make it a bit clearer, okay, or just expand all of them, up to you. Let's save this and refresh, and now we can see right there we get the uh, same effect as I demonstrated inside here. So of course, like I said, uh, you can change these styles and properties to be whatever you like uh, to make your own custom animation. So that right there is how to create a CSS only loading indicator. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.